Good morning. What is God's will for you personally? Today we're at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 to 8. Here's what it says. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. So this is a very strong call to sanctification. What is sanctification? Sanctification is, is literally holiness. It's to be set apart for God's work, but it also means to be actually to become holy. Now, I know that a lot of us have heard, well, okay, we can't become holy, that only God alone is good, and that's true. But God wants us. He's calling us sanctification. Does he call us to something that, that cannot be? I, I want you to pretend that you're sanctified. I want you to pretend that you're holy. No, he's calling us to actual holiness. Notice the text. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should, here come the concrete examples, that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Well, that's a pretty big one right there. That's an absolute concrete example of what he means when he says, I want you to be sanctified. You, this is something you don't do. Here's what it says. That each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor. Notice what it says there about knowing how. Knowing how. This, again, isn't something that God doesn't make us a robot and then just impose holiness on us. We need to know how to possess our vessel. We need to know how to exercise, literally, self-control. Self-control by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so this is a pretty high and precious call. God doesn't call us to something low. He's calling us to come up higher. A, an unbeliever, a person who's not a converted person, it is really up the creek without any paddles. It doesn't know how, how do you live. How do you successfully follow what the desire you have to do right? And then in verse 7, God didn't call us to uncleanness, but to holiness. He's called us in holiness and to holiness. In case anybody wonders if this is just some kind of an option, notice what verse 8 says, and verse 8 is very important. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God who has also given us his Holy Spirit. So if we reject the call to holiness, the call to sanctification, the call to come up higher, the call to abstain from sexual immorality, and so on, if we're rejecting this, what are we doing? We are, we are rejecting God. So this is not an optional call. This is a privileged call to come up higher and receive God's, God's very powerful blessing. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for calling us up higher. We might be inclined to stay down lower, but you've called us up higher. Bless us, Lord, by bringing us up higher. Help us to know how to possess our vessel in honor. Lord, we just pray that you'll show us how to, how to live the right way. We want to model Christianity for the people who need to see that model. And we want those blessings of walking hand in hand and footstep in footstep. We want those blessings of walking side by side with you hand in hand with your purpose for us. So bless, we pray, each listener this morning. Give us the desire of our heart to know how to possess our vessel in honor and how to walk in holiness. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for calling us up higher. In Jesus' name, we, we give praise to you. Amen. Well, there is the high call, the high calling of God. And what a wonderful thing to have in our mind and in our heart as we start our day. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll get the notification of the latest videos coming in. So God is a good God, and he wants us to come up higher. God be with you today, and come, let's come up higher together and have a, have a day walking with the Lord Jesus.